digamma. Digamma, vof, or wow, uppercase, lowercase, numeral, is an archaic letter of the Greek alphabet. It originally stood for the sound but it has principally remained in use as a Greek numeral for six. Whereas it was originally called vav or wow, its most common appellation in classical Greek is digamma, as a numeral, it was called episemen during the Byzantine era and is now known as stigma after the Byzantine ligature combining sigma, tau as. Digamma or wow was part of the original archaic Greek alphabet as initially adopted from Phoenician. Like its model, Phoenician vav, it represented the voice labiovelar approximant and stood in the sixth position in the alphabet between epsilon and zeta. It is the consonantal doublet of the vowel letter upsilon, which was also derived from vav but was placed at the end of the Greek alphabet. Digamma or wow is in turn the ancestor of the Latin letter f. As an alphabetic letter, it is attested in archaic and dialectal ancient Greek inscriptions until the classical period. The shape of the letter went through a development from through, to or, which at that point was conflated with the sigma, tau ligature. In modern print, a distinction is made between the letter and its original alphabetic role as a consonant sign, which is rendered as or its modern lowercase variant, and the numeric symbol, which is represented by. In modern Greek, this is often replaced by the digraph. The sound existed in Mycenaean Greek, as attested in Linear B and Archaic Greek inscriptions using digamma. It is also confirmed by the Hittite name of Troy, Willusa, corresponding to the Greek name William. The sound was lost at various times in various dialects, mostly before the Classical period. In Ionic, had probably disappeared before Homer's epics were written down, 7th century BC, but its former presence can be detected in many cases because its emission left the meter defective. For example, the words new alphazi, tribal, king, lord, military, leader, found in the Iliad, would have originally been, and is attested in this form in Mycenaean Greek, and wine are sometimes used in the meter where a word starting with a consonant would be expected. Further evidence coupled with cognate analysis shows that was earlier, cf. Cretan Doric Ibina, cf. Latin Vinum and English wine. There have been editions of the Homeric epics where the wow was re-added particularly in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but these have largely fallen out of favor. Aeolian was the dialect that kept the sound longest. In discussions by ancient Greek grammarians of the Hellenistic era, the letter is therefore often described as a characteristic Aeolian feature. Loan words that entered Greek before the loss of lost that sound when Greek did. For instance, os can you, land of the male calves, compare yearling, male calf, gave rise to the Greek word Italia. The Adriatic tribe of the Veneti was called in. In loanwords that entered the Greek language after the drop of, the phoneme was once again registered, compare for example the spelling of fervates. In some local, epichoric, alphabets, a variant glyph of the letter digamma existed that resembled modern Cyrillic. In one local alphabet, that of Pamphylia, this variant form existed side by side with standard digamma as two distinct letters. It has been surmised that in this dialect the sound may have changed to labiodental in some environments. The F shaped letter may have stood for the new sound, while the special shaped form signified those positions where the old sound was preserved. Digamma slash wow remained in use in the system of Greek numerals attributed to Miletus, where it stood for the number 6, reflecting its original place in the sequence of the alphabet. It was one of three letters that were kept in this way in addition to the 24 letters of the classical alphabet, the other two being Kappa, for 90, and Sampi, for 900. During their history in handwriting in late antiquity and the Byzantine era, all three of these symbols underwent several changes in shape, with Digamma ultimately taking the form of. It has remained in use as a numeral in Greek to the present day, in contexts such as enumerating chapters in a book or other items in a set. Digamma was derived from Phoenician vav, which was shaped roughly like an Y. Of the two Greek reflexes of vav, digamma retained the alphabetic position, but had its shape modified to, while the upsilon retained the original shape but was placed in a new alphabetic position. Early Crete had an archaic form of digamma somewhat closer to the original Phoenician, or a variant with a stem bent sidewards. The shape, during the archaic period, underwent a development parallel to that of epsilon, which changed from to E with the arms becoming orthogonal and the lower end of the stem being shed off. For digamma, this led to the two main variants of classical F and square. The latter of these two shapes became dominant when used as a numeral, with F only very rarely employed in this function. However, 
in Athens, both of these were avoided in favor of a number of alternative numeral shapes. In cursive handwriting, the square C form developed further into a rounded form resembling a C, found in papyrus manuscripts as, on coins sometimes as. It then developed a downward tail at the end, and finally adopted a shape like a Latin S. These cursive forms are also found in stone inscriptions in late antiquity. In the 9th and 10th centuries, the cursive shape digamma was visually conflated with a ligature of sigma, in its historical lunate form, and tau, plus equals. The sigma tau ligature had become common in minuscule handwriting from the 9th century onwards. Both closed, and open, forms were subsequently used without distinction both for the ligature and for the numeral. The ligature took on the name of stigma or sti, and the name stigma is today applied to it both in its textual and in the numeral function. The association between its two functions as a numeral and as a sign for SD became so strong that in modern typographic practice in Greece, whenever the sign itself is not available, the letter sequences sigma tau or sigma tau are used instead for the number 6. In Western typesetting during the modern era, the numeral symbol was routinely represented by the same character as the stigma ligature. In normal text, this ligature together with numerous others continued to be used widely until the early 19th century following the style of earlier minuscule handwriting, but ligatures then gradually dropped out of use. The stigma ligature was among those that survived longest, but it too became obsolete in print after the mid-19th century. Today it is used only to represent the numeric digamma, and never to represent the sequence sigma tau in text. Along with the other special numeric symbols kappa and sampi, numeric digamma slash stigma normally has no distinction between uppercase and lowercase forms, while other alphabetic letters can be used as numerals in both cases. Distinct uppercase versions were occasionally used in the 19th century. Several different shapes of uppercase stigma can be found, with a lower end either styled as a small curved S-like hook, or as a straight stem, the latter either with a serif, or without one. An alternative uppercase stylization in some 20th century fonts is, visually a ligature of Roman style uppercase C and T. The characters used for numeric digamma slash stigma are distinguished in modern print from the character used to represent the ancient alphabetic digamma, the letter for the, W, sound. This is rendered in print by a Latin F, or sometimes a variant of it specially designed to fit in typographically with Greek. It has a modern lowercase form, that typically differs from Latin F by having two parallel horizontal strokes like the uppercase character, with the vertical stem often being somewhat slanted to the right or curved and usually descending below the baseline. This character is used in Greek epigraphy to transcribe the text of ancient inscriptions that contain, and in linguistics and historical grammar when describing reconstructed protoforms of Greek words that contain the sound slash w slash. Throughout much of its history, the shape of digamma slash stigma has often been very similar to that of other symbols, with which it can easily be confused. In ancient papyri, the cursive C-shaped form of numeric digamma is often indistinguishable from the C-shaped lunate, form that was then the common form of sigma. The similarity is still found today, since both the modern stigma, and modern final sigma, sigma, look identical or almost identical in most fonts, both were historically continuations of their ancient C-shaped forms with the addition of the same downward flourish. If the two characters are distinguished in print, the top loop of stigma tends to be somewhat larger and to extend farther to the right than that of final sigma. The two characters are, however, always distinguishable from the context in modern usage, both in numeric notation and in text, the final form of sigma never occurs in numerals, the number 200 being always written with the medial sigma, sigma, and in normal Greek text the sequence sigma tau can never occur word finally. The medieval S-like shape of digamma, has the same shape as a contemporary abbreviation for, and Yet another case of glyph confusion exists in the printed uppercase forms, this time between stigma and the other numeral, kappa, 90. In ancient and medieval handwriting, kappa developed from through, to the uppercase forms and can represent either kappa or stigma. Frequent confusion between these two values in contemporary printing was already noted by some commentators in the 18th century. The ambiguity continues in modern fonts, many of which continue to have glyphs similar to for either kappa or stigma. The symbol has been called by a variety of different names, referring either to its alphabetic or its numeral function or both. Wow, variously rendered as Vav, Vav or similarly in English, is the original name of the alphabetic letter for an ancient Greek dot it is often cited in its reconstructed acrophonic spelling.
This form itself is not historically attested in Greek inscriptions, but the existence of the name can be inferred from descriptions by contemporary Latin grammarians, who render it as Vav. In later Greek, where both the letter and the sound it represented dead become inaccessible, the name is rendered as Or. In the 19th century, the anglicized form Vav was a common name for the symbol in its numerical function, used by authors who distinguished it both from the alphabetic digamma and from as a sigma tau ligature. The name digamma was used in ancient Greek and is the most common name for the letter in its alphabetic function today. It literally means double gamma and is descriptive of the original letter's shape. The name episemon was used for the numeral symbol during the Byzantine era and is still sometimes used today, either as a name specifically for digamma slash stigma, or as a generic term for the whole group of extra alphabetic numeral signs, digamma, kappa, and sampi. The Greek word, from, epi, on, and, Sema, sign, literally means a distinguishing mark, a badge, but is also the neuter form of the related adjective, distinguished, remarkable. This word was connected to the number six through early Christian mystical numerology. According to an account of the teachings of the heretic Marcus given by the church father Irenaeus, the number six was regarded as a symbol of Christ, and was hence called, the outstanding number. Likewise, the name, Jesus, having six letters, was, the outstanding name and so on. The 6th century treatise about the mystery of the letters, which also links the 6 to Christ, calls the number sign to episemon throughout. The same name is still found in a 15th century arithmetical manual by the Greek mathematician Nikolaos Rabdas. It is also found in a number of Western European accounts of the Greek alphabet written in Latin during the early Middle Ages. One of them is the work De Loquela Progestum Digitorum a didactic text about arithmetics attributed to the Venerable Beat, where the three Greek numerals for 6, 90 and 900 are called Epissimon, Kofi and Inikosis respectively. From Beta, the term was adopted by the 17th century humanist Joseph Justus Scaliger. However, misinterpreting Beta's reference, Scaliger applied the term Epissimon not as a name proper for digamma slash 6 alone, but as a cover term for all three numeral letters. From Scaliger, the term found its way into modern academic usage in this new meaning, of referring to complementary numeral symbols standing outside the alphabetic sequence proper, in Greek and other similar scripts. In one remark in the context of a biblical commentary, the 4th century scholar Ammonius of Alexandria is reported to have mentioned that the numeral symbol for 6 was called Gobex by his contemporaries. The same reference in Ammonius has alternatively been read as Gamex by some modern authors. Ammonius, as well as later theologians, discuss the symbol in the context of explaining the apparent contradiction and variant readings between the Gospels in assigning the death of Jesus either to the third hour or sixth hour, arguing that the one numeral symbol could easily have been substituted for the other through a scribal error. The name stigma was originally a common Greek noun meaning a mark, dot, puncture, or generally a sign from the verb sigma tau zeta omega, to puncture. It had an earlier writing-related special meaning, being the name for a dot as a punctuation mark, used for instance to mark shortness of a syllable in the notation of rhythm. It was then co-opted as a name specifically for the sigma tau ligature, evidently because of the acrophonic value of its initial st as well as the analogy with the name of sigma. Other names coined according to the same analogical principle are sti or stau. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.